projects that the Shiba Inu development team just put out are doing really well. They're so successful that you won't believe it. These changes are very important to keep an eye on because they have a big impact on the value of our favorite Shiba Inu coin. Allow me to explain. Nota Benny, Ragnar Shiba, who is on the Shiba Inu team and runs the Shibarium Tech channel on Telegram, recently shared an important report about the work that Shiba developers are still doing on the Shibarium testnet. Before we go any further, though, this station gives away 1 million Shiba Inu tokens every day. All you have to do to become a Shiba Millionaire is like this video and watch more videos like it. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below with the word Shiba Inu. Have fun. Ragnar Shiba made a famous comment in which he was excited about a possible interesting development and said, something is cooking. But wait, let's get some simple things straight before we go any further. Like what the Pupping at Testnet is and how it's different from the Shibarium Testnet. The Mainet is like a busy city where people live, work, and play and all of your daily business. The city logbook keeps track of everything that happens in this city. Like when you buy something, sell a service, or send money to a friend. The real valuable money in that city is the money you use for these deals. In the world of cryptocurrency, the mainnet is like a real city where real deals happen and information is recorded permanently. Now let's say there's a nearby practice city that looks exactly like the real city but is only there for tests and practice. This is the testnet, or puppynet in Shibarium's case. Businesses and developers can try out new ideas, features, and services without spending real money in a city that looks and works like the real one. This fake city's money is used for trades, just like play money, even though they're not real. Makers use them to make sure everything works well before putting it into the real city. It's a place where you can try new things without worrying about what might happen in real life. The mainnet is where real trades and economic activity happen. The testnet, on the other hand, is a controlled space where ideas can be tried out and improved before they are used in the real economy. Ragnar Sheba also sent a picture from Da Vinci, an administrator on the Sheba team's disk who colored in details that could be found on the Puppynet Scan Explorer. Something like this is like a search engine for coins like Shiba Inu. It gives us a look into how the blockchain, which is basically a decentralized ledger that keeps track of all activities, works. Think of it as a tool that lets people look into and learn more about different parts of the Bitcoin network. Users can look deeper into specific transactions, wallet addresses, and blocks using the Explorer. They can find information like sender and receiver names, transaction amounts, and timestamps. This real-time tool shows data like transaction volume and block creation to give you an ongoing picture of the network. For Shibarium projects, the Explorer, like Puppynet Scan, is very important for keeping track of development work and coin creation on the testnet. Overall, a blockchain explorer makes the cryptocurrency environment more open and trustworthy by letting users check transactions on their own and keep an eye on how the network is changing. As per Da Vinci, the information from the explorer shows that the mysterious Shitoshi Kusama is in charge of the Sheba Inu development team, which is actively working on current projects and activities in Shibarium. Da Vinci told the Shiba community to be careful and keep a close eye on what was happening. Cryptocurrency project workers must always be working on updates and improvements for a number of different reasons. The most important of these is the need to strengthen the project's security system. Since there are so many possible threats in the world of cryptocurrencies, regular updates are needed to find and fix security holes, protect users and their funds from hackers, and improve overall security. In addition, the iterative development procedure lets developers fix bugs and other problems that come up over time. This proactive method makes sure that the project runs smoothly, improves the user experience as a whole, and stops system problems that could hurt user trust. Because blockchain and Bitcoin technologies change so quickly, it's important to keep up with the latest developments. Regular changes help projects keep up with how quickly technology is changing, so they can stay competitive, scalable, and able to add new features and improvements. Regular updates make it easier for people to get involved in their communities and build trust. By keeping the project flexible and adapting to what users want, developers can react to user feedback, show that they care about what the community needs, and build a loyal user base. Together with technological factors, the rules and regulations that govern cryptocurrency are always changing. Regular changes are necessary to keep up with changing legal requirements, make sure the project follows regulatory guidelines, and help it last for a long time. Another important part of continuous development is scalability and speed optimization. As the number of users increases, 
projects must be able to handle more transactions quickly and efficiently. For this to happen, they need to be updated regularly to keep their performance at its best. How often and how well changes are made are closely linked to innovation and competition in the cryptocurrency space. Regular updates give developers the chance to add new features, partnerships, or integrations that set the project apart from others in the same field and draw new users and investors. Besides these things, ongoing work lets community feedback be added, which makes the project more in line with what users want and expect. This focus on the community method encourages a sense of ownership and teamwork, which builds a positive and active user community. Regular updates also help the ecosystem grow, which is a strategic result. Adding new features, making agreements, and integrating with other projects all make the project more useful and important, increasing its impact on the cryptocurrency economy as a whole. Anyway, let's get back to the news about Shiba Inu puppies. Looking at the Puppinet scam, it's clear that the Shibarium testnet, which has been up and running since the middle of March, has seen a lot of action. As of today, 48.7 million transactions have happened every day on Puppinet, which is a big jump in daily transaction data. The most deals that happen every day are 412,000. The Shibarium made it, on the other hand, saw more than 4.1 million trades this week. And since we're on the testnet, Shibarium consistently hitting more than 4 million per week is a huge accomplishment. Since it just came out in August, Shibarium has already handled more than 4 million transactions per week. It is a new layer 2 Ethereum option. It's really important. First, it shows that the method works to solve Ethereum's scalability problems, making it possible to handle a lot of transactions without getting backed up. This means that users will save money on transactions and get them processed faster, getting more people to use the website. The large number of transactions also shows that a lot of people are interested in and using Shibarium. People are already using the platform, and developers may be interested in using it to make decentralized apps because it can be scaled up more easily and costs less. Furthermore, sending a large number of transactions to the Shibarium network helps the Ethereum mainnet. It's possible that this will make things better on the mainnet by lowering problems like high petrol fees and slow approval times. It's not just the number of transactions that make a Shibarium successful. This shows that developers have faith in the tool as well. Developers who are constantly building and deploying projects show that the ecosystem is healthy and that people trust the solution's abilities. Shibarium is strong because it can be used for many things, from decentralized banking to non-fungible tokens. A lot of transactions on the platform shows that it is flexible and can work with many different decentralized apps. Lastly, a lot of transactions create good network effects that bring more users and developers to the platform. This makes the environment stronger and more alive. Also, more than 2,000 tokens have been made on the testnet, and the number of blocks made on Puppinet has risen to almost 3 million. There have also been 20 million trades of bone tokens. Based on these numbers, it looks like Shibarium is going through a very busy and changing phase. After reading all of that, what do you think? Leave a comment below. I look forward to reading your thoughts. This video has now come to an end. If you liked the video, please click like and let us know what you thought in the comments. This really helps me understand how YouTube works.